Hey folks, we're going to go over the STG 3212s made by Striker Cruiser Products. Very nice, the outside deck. Very nice unit. To start up here in the front, we're just going to go around and give you some advice, some helpful pointers, and hopefully you have a good, safe camping trip. Well, it's got the electric jack, the two propane 30s. You have a regulator up front. Make sure it's pointed at the tank that you're using. When you're done, flip it over to the next one. Should last you all summer. A little light with the electric jack, very nice. The hitch we will go over in person. New battery. If the jack's not working, go to the fuse. If the fuse is not the problem, you can go to the upper part rubber, take that off and do it manually. You got a button up front that says cap lights for the LEDs, which are very bright. You get a power cord. 30 to 110, do not use your air conditioner on that. You have a pressure washer hose, sewer hose, manual. Crank for the electric jacks. This is a crank for the spare tire, which you'll have a hole in the back for that. I'll show you that. Light switch on here, manual, and you have the battery disconnect. When it's not in use, just kill it. You have it in when you're camping and traveling to charge the battery. Electric jacks. These will amp out. You're just going to put pressure down just to stabilize it and not to pick the camper up. Level it with the front jack. Awning, big awning. You can actually bend the arms, keep your flap at a 90 degree like that so you don't stretch it. Bend your arms down like so for a little rain runoff. Do both sides for more shade, just a sun shade in the book. Wind is your enemy, put it away at night, you'll have it in the morning. Exhaust for the furnace up top. I would recommend some screens for mud dauber bees there. You got your fresh water fill, you're just gonna put the hose in, turn it on to fill your tank, and I'm gonna show you the levels for that. Power washer port, that's where the blue hose will go. You got water up front. Black tank flush, you have to have the valve open to the black tank toilet, which I'll show you in a minute before you hook a hose up to that, and that's just gonna flush the tank out for storage and smells. City water connection, from the park or from your house, put the hose on, screw it on, and just turn on the pressure. Water heater. This is your anode rod, which is your drain plug also. And it goes there. You have a switch for the electric side. It's right down on the bottom left. Just make sure you have water in it. You got a gas and electric resets, make that a habit. Make sure you have water before you do the electric side. You have a gas button inside, which I'll show you that in a minute. And that you can double up and have endless hot water. Do gas and electric together. Then outlets, some outside speakers. Then will be controlled on your touchscreen speaker system with the fade button. The gate's very simple. You're gonna pull your safety pin. One on each side, flip the gate up, open it up. We'll go over that together. Very, very simple. Outside TV, very nice. You're going to have vents for gassy machines. You'll have one on each side so you can open them for travel. That three quarter inch bar up front I told you about will go right there for your spare tire. There's a switch for your electric stabilizers in the back. You have the big door. Nice big wide open unit. Capable of backup camera through Furion. I would get a you got it all pre-wired for you. Observation camera is what you want. You got the screen door, just put it back the way you see it when you put it back in, but that's all screens. You got your ladder to get on the roof, check your slides, that's always a good thing. Two pins here and the ladder pulls out, you walk all over the roof. You got your pump station, that's your gas pump. This is going to be the pump itself to turn on so you can fuel with a pressure gauge, gas gauge, and all your fuel goes in that port, unloaded fuel. Cable satellite hookup with your power cord hookup. 
back door. That's very nice. Get in the toy hauler area of the deck. Refrigerator, just when you clean this out, do it once a year. Just make sure your drain plug for defrost is outside the unit. These are little squeegee strips. They'll just flip, help the squeegee. Always check them. Take a look at your seals. Every 90 days, they want you to look at your caulk lines. Solar capability. Charge your battery in the sun. This one's got the magnets, which is very nice. Generator. Very nice, 4,000. Get your oil. Always do your start prime. Hit it, the light comes on. You'll hear thumping, let it stop where the thumping goes away. One hidden spot here is the breaker. The breaker switch is down here. And it's very hard to see, so you have to make sure it's pulled forward. And you'll have your manual and a video on that as well. YouTube, you could always call us, but YouTube's really good. A lot of questions can be answered. And quick push of the button. Little holders for the door. So you hold the door from the wind. There's your vents on that. Happy Jack bed system, which you can actually pull these pins here. On each side, two on each side. You flip the bed down for taller units carts with roofs. You'll have lockers on the bed as well to flip them up. If you want to keep the, it's a free floater on the main bed. If you want to keep that up in the air and just bring the, the seating down, you're going to have four pins. These four pins, I'm going to show you the holes they'll go in. These are for your gate. Get your nine volt battery and for your smoke detector. It's right by the door. Make sure you get that in the beginning of the year. We won't put it in now for storage. Two remotes for the TVs and the radio and all your manuals. With them pins you will put right up into them holes. Right there under the bed. And then them there will hold that bed into place. All four and, and you can just move the bed and the couch seating down. You have switches for that, up and down for the bed, switches for inside, for your speaker, lots of storage, TV, speakers out here. Microwave, touch screen radio, you got your amp, some adjustments on that. On your stove, you turn it on to the flame, hit your striker, we'll light it. To do the oven, you have to hold the button in as you turn that and light the bottom pilot. Make sure it's lit and then you can use it as needed. Shut it off when you're done. Refrigerator is an auto, very expensive. If you're going to go out in the woods, take the button off. You should see no lights. This thing will beep if it loses power. It will automatically switch over if you leave it on the auto. Then you have your on and off. And there should be. Make sure your thermistor wire stays up in the cold and warmer stage. Make sure they don't fall down and travel. You have manual lights up front there. Fuse box, breaker box. If you see a red light on in there in the window, that's the fuse that's blown. Everything's labeled real nice with your breakers. So if microwave or anything, anything outside not working, go to your GFI switch, which is probably located in the bathroom. LPCO detector will detect and beep every 20 to 30 seconds when the unit will get low on battery. You'll have more accent lights up top. Manual lights in here. 
Fire extinguisher. Big closet. Thermostat. Hit it twice. You'll see auto. Keep it on auto. If you're on a low or high for the fan, that's fine. But auto for your cool air conditioner and your heat. And then off. Here's your levels for like what I said the fresh water. It'll all look like that when it's full. That's battery and fresh, black and gray. You got a water pump, so if you're using this water, you use your pump. That'll just build pressure. Water or water heater LP. You can do that with electric. Like I said, double up or just use this in the woods or just in the park. Use your electric. Cabin lights. You got cap lights up front. Just auxiliary. This is another auxiliary for the bottom lights. On and extend retract. You can stop at any time. And then your slide out button. In and out. Just make sure you clean your floors good before you bring them in and out. It will scratch your linoleum. Looks like lit cups for the cups. Window shades you just pull in the middle. Pull them down. Leave them up or all the way down for travel. Bathroom very nice spacious. There's your GFI reset button. Make sure that's green at all times when you're camping. If you're not plugged in it will not work. You will not have TV electric. Outlets, air conditioner, microwave. King size bed, you can move it side to side. No, this one does not. Sorry. This one's a stationary. You got power outlet, cable for TV. Generator can be started and stop prime first, then your start. It is in here in the bedroom, right there. there you, go. you have a switch up there. Light switch here, very nice. That pretty much concludes our showing. If you have any questions, you're always free to call us. YouTube is very handy, lots of good information, big windows. But thank you for shopping at All Seasons. Enjoy your camper. Thank you.